Good morning, everyone. I am so pumped about today's video. I love this place. Point Pelee is, it is absolutely stunning here. Even if you don't get out to do the trails, the road through Peely is so amazing. And the reason I say that is you're on this two lane, little paved road with little curves and windings. But the best part is, is the, how the trees cover the road here. And today is just going to be so much fun. So welcome everyone to Wandering with Jenny. Today we hit the most southern point in mainland Canada. Welcome to Point Pelee. Peely, you there is a day pass or you can get a park pass like this one here which allows me to get into um, all of the national parks within Canada it's called the discovery pass this one here allows you into parks as well as a couple of other little things so down in southern Ontario you can go to places like Fort Walden uh, here in Point Peely as well as a couple of others then you're going to be given a map. The great thing that I absolutely love about this place here too is it is quite crowded for the most part. However, um, there are so many trails that you can take within um, Peely. So when you get the map, you can go and pick out which trails you want to do. So there's a couple of really nice ones that I absolutely love, which are towards the end. And there are, um, they're basically scattered throughout. So no matter where you go, it's again, depending on the time, you will find some areas that are less crowded. That goes for the same for the beaches here. But the beaches here are really well maintained. If you go to the, uh, what side is it? On the west side is your main beaches. Now there are some on the other side as well, but the west side of the point is where all of your main beaches are. I really like the Black Willow one. That's the one I find to be probably the least busy inside the entire park. So another really awesome thing about the point, it this park here is like, is about nature and they are really trying to bring back a lot of the habitat in this area. So, and wildlife. If you are a bird watcher, Point Pelee, definitely the spot that you want to go. This is a huge migration area. So not only birds, but also for monarch butterflies, which they have this like, Monarch Butterfly Fest. To be honest with you, I miss it every single year, mostly due to work. But if you are into bird watching, this is the place that you definitely want to be in because there are so many stunning um, migrating birds that come through here. And bird watchers come in the plenties. It's it's really interesting to see them all out there with their vests on and these like, and photographers, um, especially wildlife photographers. But it's, it's amazing. And, you know, I've always said that I'm really respectful, especially when it comes to, if there are bird watchers out there, I tend to walk a little, you know, more light footed. Um, I try not to talk around them and it's just a respect thing because I mean we're all here to enjoy the park Some people you know come here for the beaches some people come for the birds some people come for the trails some people come for bike rides so it's just being respectful of Those that are around you and what they may be doing So 
so right now I am getting myself ready to get on the tram. The tram is what takes you down to the end of the point. You can take the tram if you're lazy like me, or you can walk or take a bike, whatever floats your boat. But me, I am running a little short on time today, so I will definitely be, um, taking the tram and let's head to the point. Hello everyone. I am just going to take a minute of your time and ask for your support. One of the ways that you can help out Wandering with Jenny is by hitting that like button and subscribing. It is free for you and it really helps me. So if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And of course, if you haven't already and you want to see any of my future videos or past, hit that subscribe button. Thanks everyone. Back to Peely. Welcome to the most southern tip of mainland Canada. So one of the reasons that I that I come to Point Pelee is because of the solitude. Yes, it is busy, but for the most part, like I said, there are so many trails that you can find here that it's so quiet and it's so peaceful. But one of the other reasons that I come here is because it's a place where I can clear my head. Um, one of the things that you know, I'm a pretty big advocate for is mental health. And Point Pelee is just one of those places where for me, it's, it's about the nature and the quiet and the peace. The sad thing is with mental health that there are so many people that suffer in silence. And so many good people leave this world without the help that they needed. Mental health, whether it be anxiety, depression, panic attacks, bipolar, there are so many different aspects out there for mental health. Not everyone suffers with mental health the same way. 20 years ago, we didn't have the, the care that we do today. And unfortunately, a lot of people that dealt with it 15, 20 years ago weren't able to get the help that they needed. The one thing that makes me so happy and so proud is the amount of people coming out and talking about it. Not only that, helping others that are dealing with the same thing that we are. Bringing awareness to those who suffer with mental health is one thing that I really wanted to get out of this video to show people that you are not alone. There's a couple of quotes that I absolutely love when it comes down to mental health. And the first one is mental health is not a destination, but a process. It's about how you drive, not where you're going. Another quote that I absolutely love is to take time to do what makes your soul happy. And that is something that I love about nature. Nature for some reason is just so unbelievably uplifting. Sometimes it's just taking a moment to realize one small thing. Nowadays we have so many outlets to go to. One of them being, of course, the hotlines and therapy. But I do know that in Ontario, we get to have, I believe it's five sessions with a social worker. And that's a big, 
it's actually a really big deal and I think a lot of people need to take more advantage of it. Maybe you just don't know about it, but definitely something you want to talk to your doctor about if you suffer from any type of mental health issues. It's knowing when to ask for the help. The point is, is that no one really sees the true side of you until you open up about it. And that's why I really want to, I just want to let you know that again, you're not alone. And if this is definitely something that I'm sure I'm not the first person, I know I'm not the first person to talk about it, but in so many people's lives, I was the first person that they heard reach out and speak about it. So it's just about asking for help or reaching out to someone who you may think that is suffering from any type of mental illness. It's about just being by someone's side when they need it. Everybody suffers with it differently. My anxiety attacks, for the most part, are pretty small. Do I have big ones? I have really big ones. Big ones to the point where I don't know where I am. I don't know how I got there. So like I said, we all suffer differently. Some people medicate. I, I don't. I do have emergency pills that if I have a big one where I'm far from home that I can take, that will at least get me, that will at least get me home. But that's what Point Peely is for me. It's an outlet. It's a place where I can go for solitude and to clear my head and just take in the sounds of nature. And I'll tell you, nature is the greatest therapy. Yes, you can get caught up in your thoughts and everything else, but it's also a place where maybe you can start rearranging those thoughts. And that's what this is about. Water, nature, greenery, lots of bugs. So if you can get over the bugs, it's a pretty awesome place. So that is what Point Healy means to me. I mean, everybody has a place. Not everybody has a Point Healy by them. But Point Healy for me is, it's just a place to escape. Um, you know, I can't take vacations all the time. I wish I could. I wish I was traveling full time, but that's not reality. Unfortunately, we have to go to work for our 40 to 50 hours a week. There are so many places that you can find solitude nowadays. Find it and find yourself. I think that is the biggest thing that we have lost. We get so caught up in social media and the stigmatism around everything that we forget what we really want in life and who we truly are. Take a moment just to sit back and relax and Find your inner peace. And that's all I can say. Find a place like Point Peely or make the trip down here and come and see it for yourself. That is gonna end it for this video today, everyone. Please do me a favor and take care of your mental health. And if you can, and you get down to Southern Ontario, make your way to Leamington and come and check out this paradise because it's what it is it it's a place of zen it's my place of zen and i hope you can find yours so if you like this video please do me a favor and hit that like button and if you haven't already and you want to see some of my future videos on life tips and travel tips don't forget to subscribe and of course share the love if you think that anyone will like this video Please hit that share button. For now, bye everybody.